professor is in the house. I'm Les Cook from Wacky Radio. From Wave 3 TV, Kentuckiana's first television station, this is live from 725 South Floyd Street. I'm so happy to be here today, man. Special show, a tribute to your Duke of Louisville. Man, I tell you what. Wacky, legendary morning man, and right now, let's bring him on, uh, the host of today's show, here's Johnny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Les Cook. Unless you're exactly right. You know, that's what this show is all about. You know, we always try to champion the local. As you know, we're a big fan of the, the culinary scene here in Louisville, all the great events, and we are the home of the most exciting two minutes in sports. But what really makes Louisville special, no question about it, it's the people. And this gentleman is certainly a Louisville treasure, no doubt about it. I'm a huge fan. I can't tell you how excited I am to introduce him to you. And by the way, your phone calls are welcome today at 571-5263. And the sponsor of those phone calls is Louisville Laser. We thank them very very much. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to make my way over to the couch and reintroduce you to everyone's friend in the morning from WKLO, from Wacky Radio. We've got a small studio here. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Mr. Bill Bailey, the Duke of Louisville. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Mr. Bailey, Oh, John. first of all, on behalf of everyone, on behalf of my audience, the studio audience, thank you. Um, you know, I, th I think it's all about memories when you're younger. And you gave me so many laughs in the morning, and, and I enjoyed you. I felt like I knew you, and I didn't. And you made everyone feel very special. In fact, uh, before we start here, the mayor wanted to come today. He had to be in, in Frankfurt, or in Lexington, I think. But he wanted to give you this proclamation. He made today, August 16th, 2011, Bill Bailey, the Duke of Louisville Day. So this is your official day. And if we could get a close-up of this, I think it's fantastic. So thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you for making this Bill Bailey Day, the Duke of Louisville. And, and Bill, you sound, you look great. Tell me, how, how have you been doing? Great. Yeah, yep, you're doing great. Now, tell me about, obviously all of us have many memories of you on the radio. Oh, some, some of your fond memories of, of oh, working God. at Wacky. I loved every minute of it. Would you, I truly did. You know, there may be someone trying to lure you out of retirement. You know, uh, uh, the, the radio business has changed. But I when know you it's the, changed. But it was all about personalities then, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it, it was as far as I was concerned. It, it really was. Yeah. And you were, I've got to tell you, you know, you look at the, the lineup they had on Wacky. I would take that today. We're looking at people like, uh, you know, yourself, yeah. Johnny Randolph, uh, yeah. uh, Gary Burbank, uh, Coyote Calhoun, right. many legends. But you were the man in the morning. Back in those days, uh, you dominated morning radio. In fact, Bill, what was your best ratings period? Just uh, if you can I remember. I think the highest rating I ever got was 42. A 42? Yeah. That is unheard of, a 42 share. You're lucky today yeah. if you can get a six well, share. Yeah. You did a 42 share in the morning. Yeah. Now, who gave you the moniker, the Duke of Louisville? Did you name yourself that? Who no, named you the Duke? No, no, that was uh, the, uh, the governor at that time. He gave you the moniker Duke of Louisville? Yeah, he called me the Duke. And you just took it from there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you deserve it. And well, you deserve I've, it. I've been called a lot of names, but he. <laughs> <laughs> You've been called a lot of names. All of them are good. I promise you that. I prom at least on this show. Uh, on the line right now, someone who'd like to say hello is, is Johnny Randolph. And according to you, Bill, tell me a little bit about Mr. Randolph. He started this mess, didn't he? Oh, yes, he did. He, he, he was responsible for all of it. He hired you? Yeah. He hired Gary Burbank? Yeah, he pulled me out of uh, Chicago. And he pulled you out of Chicago? Yeah. yeah. Now, what, what do you think, Bill, I talk all the time often on this show, before we go to Johnny real quickly, what do you think makes Louisville a special place? What do, what do you think make Lu makes the Louisville people. a special place? The people. The people. No question. I fell in love with the people. No question about it. It is about the people. <laughs> Johnny Randolph is one of those very special people. Mr. Randolph, are you with us? Johnny oh. Randolph? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. There he is. Hi, Mr. Randolph. How are you, sir? Real good. Thank you. Now, tell me a little bit about some of your favorite Bill, Bill Bailey memories, because we're opening up the phone lines and asking for those today. What, <laughs> what about your favorite memories? My favorite <coughs> memory, John, has actually occurred during a dark period in Louisville, the busing era, and it was in the 70s, mm -hmm. court-ordered program to where schools would have to put uh, racial equality in all of their schools. In other words, if you had a, a predominantly black school, you'd have to, to bus in white students and bus out black students. And 
the program was not very popular and uh, was not very popular with Bill. Bill got on the air and was addressing a rumor that anyone in Louisville, the rumor was anyone in Louisville that was Jewish would not have to participate in busing. It was a ridiculous rumor, but it was still a rumor. And so Bailey was going to dispel that rumor and said, if the Jewish people think that they're not going to be bused, the Jewish people in this community are crazy. And that was it. Well, the head of the Jewish Community Center did not hear those remarks, but by the time <laughs> the story was told and retold, by the time it got up to the head of the Jewish Community Center, the, that person was very mad, called our manager at Wacky, who was very oh, mad yeah, at me sure. and said, you get Bailey straightened out, I want an honor your apology, or heads are going to roll. So I get uh, Bill, and I said, Bill, we got to do something here. Uh, they're upset. Bill said, well, I didn't mean anything by it. I said, look, you know that, I know that, but, you know, we, we've got a problem here. So we ran these announcements that Bill would be apologizing at 730 the next morning for remarks that he made. And he came on the air, and Bill invited the head of the Jewish Community Center down to be in the studio with him. Not to be on the air, but just to be there. And at 7.30, Bill goes through this heartfelt apology and uh, said that he didn't mean anything by it. And he asked the Jewish community uh, leader, he said, uh, is, is everything okay now? And the leader said, uh, oh, yes, I understand, no problem. And then Bill said, as only Bailey can do, he said, Mr. So-and-so, to show you there's no hard feelings, I'm going to send you a case of pork chops. You, you did not do that, Bill. Tell me you didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, he did too. I didn't do that. Look at that look on his face. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful sure story. Did it. Uh -oh. Ms. Mr. Randolph, thank you very much for the story, and thanks for putting together what was perhaps the greatest radio team the Louisville will ever see uh, at Wacky. So he did an excellent job. Bill, uh, your thoughts on Johnny Randolph real quickly before we go to break. Oh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Well, he obviously thinks he the really same of you. He's a great guy. Yep. Well, he thinks the same of you, and a lot wow. of our viewers do, too. Give us a call, 571-5263, as Les Cook from Wacky Radio tells you what's coming up on the show. Les? Well, you're going to get your chance to talk to the Duke of Louisville, Bill Bailey, and uh, we're going to take calls from Gary Burbank. A dude Walker will be calling in, and Mason Dixon in studio with us. It is a tribute to the man, the Duke of Louisville, Bill Bailey. Our time, of course, we're playing Yucca Buck on Radio WKLO today. We'll have another yuck for you shortly. Come on in here if you're tourists and do it. Radio WKLO, Bill Bailey Showtime, 808, eight minutes after eight o'clock. Goody Two Shoes, this one composed by and recorded by Louisville's Futuras. There he is, the Duke of Louisville, Bill Bailey. Now, that was back in the WKLO days. Now, I remember you more with Wacky, Mr. Bailey, but we've got so many people who want to say hello to you, so we're going to go to the phones real quickly and grab one. Artie is with us. Artie, welcome. You're live from 725. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. Bill Bailey, Duke of Louisville. Hello there. How are you? Hello, Artie. I just thought I'd uh, call and say hi. Well, and thank you, you look Artie. very, very good, my friend. Thank you. I uh, just wanted to tell you a little bit. Came back uh, from uh, Evansville after being there, done a radio stint there for 12 years. Had a real good time there. And uh, after a friend of mine and I did a morning show there, we had decided to uh, part ways, and I decided to come back home here. And um, I'm living over on the sunny side of Louisville right now. But it's so good to see you. It's so good to, uh, you look very, very well, my friend. I'm half dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> only, only the Duke could get by with that line right there. Now, wait a minute now. No, it's, 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 it's so good to see you, Bill. You, you brought so many memories. Thank you, Artie. Yep, you made so many people happy. Let's grab another phone call. We've got so many people who'd like to talk to the Duke. Uh, let's talk to Latyra, who is with us. Welcome to the show, Latyra. Go ahead. Hi, Latyra. You're live. 
Hello, Bill. This is the Tyra Cosby from the Manor. We all want to let you know that we're watching and we love you. Okay, honey. Thank you. Very nice. Yes. Let's talk to Adam, who is with us. Adam, you're live on 725. How are you? Go ahead, Adam. Yeah, I was a great follower of you all uh, when I was a little teenager with your booth uh, out, out on 4th Street and Weird Beard. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I have to ask you, the Duke of Louisville is such a good title, you had competition. Did you know the late, great Ron Clay? Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys were friends. You were friends with a lot of radio personalities, oh, yeah. including yeah. myself. You were good yeah. to a lot of us. Oh, yeah, I knew them all. And and all of them should have been in jail. <laughs> 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 and you, you inspired so many, and I'd be included in it. And I think this man would say you inspired him as well. Uh, you may know him from Wacky Radio, maybe WHAS, but how about WLW in Cincinnati? With us on the phone is Mr. Gary right. Burbank. Mr. Burbank, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you having me out with, with the old Duke of Louisville. Man. Hello there, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burbank, how are you? And if you would, maybe you could tell us a, a retell your favorite uh, Mr. Bailey story. Uh, yeah, I, I can't, you know, I would love to do that, but you wouldn't be on the air any longer. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I told you my favorite oh, story, God. I do have a couple of others. I, Don't I know tell that, that one. You guys yeah. remember Chris Lundy, right? Yes. Okay, Chris Lundy did Middays, oh. and once uh, at the old Coach of Dutchman right there on 4th Street, we, uh, Chris and I were in that, remember that little bitty bar in the back? Uh. And we were sitting at this little bar, and you couldn't see the dining room. It was on the other side, you know, and behind curtains and things. And we heard this commotion in the dining room. And uh, we, we didn't know what it was. A woman yelled or something. And the next thing you knew about a few seconds later, Haley <laughs> comes charging through the curtains. And we look up at him, and, he, and, and it was so kind of Bill to stop and say, Fellows, I'd love to join you for a drink, but uh, I must be off. And he ran out the back door. Two seconds later, a woman came running in with a butcher knife in her hand. And she said, have you seen Bill Bailey? And it was great, because at, at the same time, Chris and I looked at her and said, who? <laughs> now, that's a true friend. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you know, we don't know him. Sorry. That's a beautiful that's story. One, and the, uh, one of my other favorite things, and I, I was just talking to Bill Hennis about this not long ago. And he admitted to this being true, and Johnny Randolph knows about this. If you guys have told this, stop me. But uh, <laughs> Bill Hennis said, you know, I, I, I had this idea after he came to Wacky. I, I needed to uh, slow Bailey down a little bit. So what I did was I, I would leave a bottle of whiskey at the front door. <laughs> and when Bailey would come in, see, he would see it and drink it and then get drunk on the air. And so uh, after about, he said, after about two or three weeks of this, he said, I stopped doing it because Bailey sounded a lot better drunk than he did sober. <laughs> 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 and so that's that kind of happened with that. But we, we, you know, we always had a great time. We, I mean, that, that whole idea of that radio station is still one of my favorites of all time that, that, that I worked. Well, and uh, I'm even counting CKLW, but it was a great radio station. Well, Mr. Burbank, you brought us all great memories, both at Wacky and WLW, and we appreciate you taking the time to come on the air. The best to you. Coming up, we're going to talk to Mason Dixon, another former jock, and I think we've got some other folks on the air coming up as well. But anyway, we got to run to break real quick. We'll be right back with Mr. Bill Bailey, the Duke of Louisville, on Live from 725. Bill Bailey. Temperature is 55 degrees, the high rating about 59 degrees today. Well, 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 hey, that looks very spiffy, my dear, very chic indeed. Look at those baggies. Are they called baggies? When women wear them, are they called baggies? I don't know when the guys wear them, they're called baggies, huh? No, it's the pants, man. I ain't calling her a bag. What's wrong? Get on out of here, Reed. What are you trying to do? Get my head knocked off 12 minutes before an eye in a W-A-K-Y. There he is, the Duke of Louisville, and he is back, ladies and gentlemen, on Live from 725. Bill Bailey is with us, along with Mason Dixon, who has joined us at the couch. Um, Bill, you were telling me, one of your hobbies, what did you say it was? I paint. You paint. Very yeah. good. Now, if someone wanted to see your work, where would they go, Bill? Well, where can they know. see some of your painting? <laughs> where can they? See? I mean, uh, <laughs> where would they go? Where, where's a good? I mean, do you display your work? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, you just do it. You enjoy it. Yeah. And very good. Very good. All right, Mason, tell me a good well, story about this guy that we can tell on the air. And it and it hasn't changed in 30 years. <laughs> I remember one morning I I used to hang in with Bill 
you, you can't get away from him. So I used to hang in, and one morning about, oh, 9 o'clock, we started talking about, you know, what his other gifts and talents were. And, well, he said, I can do a little bit of art. And I said, yeah. So he took a number two pencil, and he had a photograph of someone's kid, and he did a black and white sketch that looked exactly like the black and white photograph wow. within 30 minutes. I mean, it was fast. Wow. And I said, wow, here's the scam. I will run the gallery. We'll call it the Bill Bailey Gallery. You'll do all the artwork. I'll do all the selling because I was the all-night disc jockey anyway. So, you know, it's like I can, he's working in the daytime. I can open the gallery up and all of that. He's drinking. And, and he was drinking. And, <laughs> and then the next time we came into town, I'd been studying metaphysics, and, and we started talking about color. And he knew as much about color and how you use color in artwork and, and okay. paintings and watercolors and that as I had been studying what colors mean. You know, like if you paint um, the, that pink, right. there's a certain color of pink that you paint right. in the jail cells right. that keeps everybody he cool knew. and that. And he knew all of it. The multi-talented Duke of Louisville. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, right. by, and by the way, real quickly, you throw a good cult. I met your daughter, Jennifer, and yeah. you, do, you do good work, my man. Good yeah. job. Thank you. All righty. <laughs> real quickly, we're going to try to grab a couple of quick phone calls. We are so packed today. Angela's with us. Angela, welcome to the show. What would you like to say to the Duke? Oh, good morning. Hello. Hello. Hello, Angela. I I just wanted to tell you, you were such a big part of my childhood. I could not get up and get ready for school until I listened to your show. Thank and you. I would walk to school singing the song. And uh, one afternoon, my dad had picked me up, and I don't know if it was one of the radio remotes somewhere or if we came down to the radio station, but I have an old wacky keychain that you gave me. And I remember telling you that I wanted to be on the radio, and you told me that I was too pretty to be on the radio, that I needed to be on TV. <laughs> well, we'll have to have her on, won't we, do? Oh, boy, there I'm it is. And I, and I just wanted to thank you, because I have so many fond childhood memories of waking up and getting ready for school. You were a big part of my mornings. Well, so many people want to say hello to you, Bill, and unfortunately, we have such limited time. Dude Walker's on the phone. In fact, we'll have to come back to him. So coming back, we'll get as many calls as we can. We thank you so much for joining us. It's our tribute to Bill Bailey, the Duke of Louisville. We'll be right back. Live from 725, our tribute to the Duke of Louisville, Bill Bailey. Bill, real quickly, do you listen to radio anymore? No, I don't. No, you're, you're finished with it. I'm through with it. Now, I can't stand this and that <laughs> political <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Dude Walker, who is on the line. Legendary Dude Walker. How are you, sir? Welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much. I don't know about legendary, but I will say this. Working with Bill Bailey was the highlight of my radio career. He's a wonderful person. I love him and uh, wish nothing but the best for him. Mm -hmm. I, think I haven't had a chance to come see him recently because I had to have another operation. It seems like that's what I do every year. But oh, uh, God, he yeah. means a lot to me. Well, so does Mason Dixon, for that matter. All right. Well, I heard him a few minutes ago. He's a, he's a tremendous human being as well. Well, thank you, Mr. But, Walker. I appreciate your call. Mason, thanks for coming on today. My Ms. pleasure. Cook, thank you so much. Gary Burbank, Johnny Randolph, we thank everyone, and thank you for your calls. The legendary Bill Bailey. Bill, is there anything you'd like to say to anyone before we go? Yeah, I love you. I love you. That works. That works. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bill Bailey's the man. It's Bill Bailey Day on Live from 725. <laughs>